We have an opportunity to develop technologies that are going to revolutionize triage and the way we respond to mass casualty situations. The teams have come together from all different kind of walks of life and different angles to really put together really successful technologies in their own right. Anything we can do to lessen the burden on our military and our first responders is just paramount. You know, this is such a different environment than being in a classroom or being in a laboratory setting. This is building and training the next cohort of researchers that are going to advance this technology even further in the future. We're putting in hours, we're putting in extra time, and we're always going to push the boundaries a little bit. Our goal as a team is really, it would be fantastic to win it, but we really feel motivated to field a system that makes a difference. The virtual competition affords us the ability to shift how we simulate a mass casualty incident. What we're really interested in seeing is what the carryover is between the virtual and the physical settings. I think there are a lot of opportunities for the kinds of algorithms that we're developing in the, under the data challenge to benefit where medical expertise is not available at the amount that is needed in a, in a moment of crisis. It's really been exciting to see how teams work together. The ability to collaborate, to have conversation with our competitors has been invaluable. What DTC is building is a really important and unique data set on all sides of the challenge that I think will hold value long after the challenge is over.